Hello, your mayor here with some more straight talk. Today, I will update you on the happenings in our city. In today's address, I will discuss Willow Creek Road, our new open air pavilion, a possible announcement that we are working on, and my invite to the Northwest Indiana Times editorial board. So let's get to it. Our newly formed Portage Youth Council and I met to discuss their role in advising the mayor's office of needs for our youth. Folks, I can tell you, our future looks very bright. Our youth council members are smart, forward-looking, and yes, very bright. You will see them out and about doing community outreach and gaining momentum. And speaking of momentum, our new open air pavilion at our lakefront and river walk park is completed and ready for rentals. This open air pavilion was the old training facility for U.S. Steel. We are proud of how it has turned out. It is another exciting amenity for our city. Please contact our Parks Department at 219-762-1675 for more information. Now moving on to speak of more amenities for our city. Our economic development team and myself sat down with our city council members, two or three at a time, to discuss new strategies to attract new business, new retail, new industries, and yes, new restaurants. I am happy to report most council members are in agreement with these new strategies. I am directing our economic development team to move forward with this exciting new vision. Soon we will have a big announcement. And speaking of announcements, Willow Creek Road will be under construction for about six weeks going forward. This is a wheel tax project. The last time Willow Creek Road was paved, it was 1997. It is due for some upgrades, and I think you would all agree. Since 1997, we have had five mayors. Our population has grown 9.7%, and our median household income rose by 11%. Willow Creek Road once was a training road for CDL, over-the-road haulers. Now the training schools use state highways. The project will be from Central Avenue south to Route 6. Please be patient and drive safely. There will be a lot of extra activity. Safety is a must. Yes, it will be inconvenient, but in the end, it will be worth it. Falling Timbers is under construction as I speak, and Hamstrom Road, south of Central, is near completion. Many more paving and reconstruction projects will be on their way as well. In my effort to be honest with you, I have had many questions about paving. One from a lady. Quote, why do you always start new projects before you finish one? End quote. Well, I don't disagree, but there are a few months out of the year to complete projects, and there are only a few construction companies to do the work. So the end result, the projects have to overlap. Once the equipment is in town, the companies do their best to get it done. I hear your frustrations, and I have them as well. But I am happy to announce as well. The collective bargaining unit for our firefighter members and the mayor's office have had very productive talks, and soon we will announce the outcome. Our firefighters are the best in the area. They deserve respect, and from this mayor, they have earned my respect. Our surrounding communities in the region respect them as well. Well done, firefighters, and thank you from a grateful mayor. And we will soon start other city employee collective bargaining agreement talks, and here again, I am proud of our employees. I am hopeful we can reach agreements with each bargaining unit very soon. In a continued effort of transparency and straight talk, I was invited to answer questions before the Times of Northwest Indiana and their editorial board. I was happy to attend. The subject was my appointment of a bipartisan investigative committee into the allegations of wrongdoing in the clerk treasurer's office. I provided as much detail that was available at the time. I will ensure you that your mayor's office is looking out for the return of the money that was paid to three companies owned by someone close to the clerk treasurer. The investigation is complete by my committee. The bipartisan committee will report to me recommendations that I will present 
to the city council at our August meeting. Did you all know that we have market music and movie every Friday evening at Founder Square this summer? Well, we do. It's a great time for our families to get out and about and enjoy our amenities, weather permitting. Our market begins Friday afternoon at 3 p.m. Our music begins at 6 p.m. And the movie begins at dusk. I would like to welcome my new appointment, Dean McBriar, to our Port Authority Board. Our Port Authority Board, made up of residents of our city, govern our marina and our waterway to Lake Michigan. Our Sammy L. Maletta Public Marina is located just off State Road Highway 249, north of Route 20. Please go and check it out. You will be impressed. Thank you to all the board members for everything you do. As you can see, your mayor and his office is at full throttle working for you. The longer I am in this office, the more that I am impressed with our residents and the hard work that you do to make our community thrive. From your mayor, thank you, God bless you, and see you soon.